In this video, I'm going to go over how to buy Solana on an exchange and then send that Solana to your Helium wallet. And that way you can have Solana in your wallet for transaction fees. Okay, so open up whatever exchange it is that you are using. Here I'm using Coinbase. Once I open up Coinbase, I'm going to say that I want to buy. Now I'm going to just simply type in Solana. Select Solana. And now I'm just going to um, buy however much Solana I want. I've already set up my Coinbase account. I've attached my bank account to uh, Coinbase so that I can make a purchase like this. So I'm just simply gonna say $25. Now you can see how much Solana I'm gonna get. Click review order, and then place order. Again, it's gonna give you the fees and everything right here, what you are actually paying. Place order. Now the order is going to be in a pending state and you'll receive an email once it's made it past the pending state within the exchange. Just simply select done. Once the transaction has cleared, you will have that balance in your account so that you can uh, interact with that balance, send, receive, whatever it is that you want to do. If you do not see your updated balance right here, what you can do is just grab somewhere in the middle of the screen, pull the screen down. You'll get this little refresh icon, let it go. Let the balance refresh in order for it to update your amount if you're not seeing it. Once the balance shows up, we are ready to move on to the next step. Now what we want to do is we want to open up our Helium wallet and we want to get our address that we're going to send the Solana from Coinbase, from the Coinbase exchange to our Helium wallet. Now what I'm going to do, this is my main account and you can see how much Solana I have. So I am going to transfer that uh, roughly $25 worth of Solana in here. But in order for you to see which address that you want to send this to, I'm going to change it to one of my test accounts. So I selected OC Miner Test 1. I'm going to come up to the icon. I'm going to come to the Share Address option. And here you've got these two addresses. Remember, the Helium address is for the old Helium blockchain. That address is only for looking up old transactions. We want to select this Solana address, and this is the address that we want to use to send Solana to our Helium wallet since we are on the Solana blockchain. You will copy this address, and then you will go back and paste this in Coinbase to, or whatever exchange you're using, to send your Solana. Okay, I'm going to transfer back over to my main account. That address I will be blurring out, but I just wanted you to see which address between the Helium and Solana, what to use. Again, Solana, this is the address, copy, share, whatever you wanna do in order to get this address to use. Now, one quick note, because we did just buy the Solana a few minutes ago in our Coinbase wallet, I wanna show you something that you might come up with when trying to do this, if you're trying to do it within a few minutes or so of buying Solana. If you come up to the send button, after the send button, select Solana. You can see that you've got your whatever amount you've purchased here. Select the, the blockchain. And then right here, we're going to paste in your, your address that you're wanting to send this to. Again, I've already put this uh, uh, wallet address in here, but you would simply select and paste in your address you copied from your Helium wallet. I've already got this address saved. This is one of the nice things about uh, the Coinbase exchange is that you can save addresses to wallets that you have so that you don't have to go back and forth and copy and paste. So I'm simply going to select my Helium wallet. You can see it put the address in. And then I'm going to come down to continue. Once I come here, if you notice it says that you only have, if you didn't have any Solana whatsoever, it would say zero. I actually had, I think, 52 cents in here. And it's not showing what I just purchased. And that's because we have to wait until the transaction clears and is no longer pending. And it says, Bolt SOL available to send in three days. 
This is one of the disadvantages of buying crypto on the exchange itself is that you may have to wait a period of time before the transaction to clear your bank before you can send it to an external wallet. Obviously, if I wanted to, I could do some swapping around and exchanging crypto within the Coinbase wallet itself. But if I'm wanting to send it to a separate external wallet, I am going to have to wait until that transaction clears, which says three days. So this was just one little note that I did want to go over. If you're not able to send something that you just bought and you're wanting to know why you can't send it immediately, you have to wait. Okay. It's been three days since I purchased that Solana and it has finally cleared my bank, which makes it available within the Coinbase wallet for me to transfer to an external wallet. So open up your Coinbase wallet and then select send. And we're going to be sending the Solana. So tap Solana. Here we're going to paste in the Helium wallet. Remember the, the Solana address in right here. I've already got it saved. This is the address. It's within the, the send to field. Then we're going to come down to the continue, tap continue. And now you can see that it says the amount is available, of course, after fees. I'm going to send the max. I tap max. This is the amount it's going to send. And then it's going to show you what your network fees are and the total and the wallet. And you just want to make sure that all of this is correct. Once this is correct, just simply tap send. You may get a, a verification that you need to do, and then we're going to uh, go to the next step. Once you authenticate your transaction through your two-factor authenticator, you're going to get a message that says that it's been successfully sent. You can simply say done. Finally, what you want to do is you want to open up your Helium wallet just to verify that you have received your Solana in your wallet. So open your Helium wallet, scroll up, just grab the screen and scroll up, and you will see your HNT, your mobile, your IoT, and your Solana. If you remember, I only had a little bit over one Solana um, before. And now I'm up over two. So I have received that Solana. This only takes uh, a minute or so for it to transact. So you should see it pretty fast. And this is an alternate way to get Solana from an exchange into your Helium wallet so that you will have Solana for transactions. And this is especially good if you don't happen to have any HNT that you can swap for for Solana for those minimal transaction fees um, that we discussed in previous videos. If you only if you have HNT and you only need a little bit of Solana, instead of having to wait those three days for the transaction to clear the exchange and your bank account, I've got other videos that shows you how to do that within a couple of seconds, and you can look in the uh, the description to see how to do that. But again, this video is for people that want to get Solana from an exchange because they have no HNT to transact.